last night an ACL. Oh. A devastating injury because he, oh. he's the key to that defense, which they desperately need. Not now or not even in the middle of the season, but in the playoffs. Quick question. Uh, is that a roundabout way of saying this could cost them a national title? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he's a good enough player. When you're, when you're going up against Georgia or against Trevor Lawrence, you need that guy. Adam oh, Sweeney and, and Trevor Lawrence already may have cost him a national yeah, title. They already right. did, in a matter of fact. Maybe another one. These preseason summer Man. injuries are a nightmare. Um, on a lighter note, we're going to play a little game of true or false. Is that I cool like with that. you? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that goes. The truth yeah. serum. Stephen yeah. A., I'm going to start with you. Yes. True or false, Trevor Lawrence will be the greatest college quarterback ever. Ever, ever. <sighs> going to say false. Okay. I like him a lot. I think he's going to be great, uh, but when I think about college quarterbacks, I'm and it's, it's almost hypocritical because I just finished getting in an argument with Keyshawn and Max about a quarterback's your primary responsibility mm -hmm. is to throw the football, which I think he can throw very well because he's got nice height and size to see over defenses and he can really fling that football. But when it comes to college, I also want to see you with the ability to run the football. And I'm not trying to say he can't run at all, but that's just not his forte. When I think about the Vince Youngs, the Cam Newtons of the world, others, like even Marcus, uh, Marcus Spears brought up Steve A. McNair with Division II or yeah. Division I AA, rather. I mean, Alcorn State. I'm like, ooh, I, I, Trevor Lawrence is going to be great. But the greatest? Nah, I'll like tell it. you why I think that the answer is actually true. I'm going out on a little bit of a limb, but I'm going to say true. Because of the way he started. Like, a lot of this is the position you're in. Are you a great quarterback at a young age? And do you play for a great coach in a great system, you know, and for a great program? All true there. He, like, I thought, when you saw what Deshaun Watson did, he had to do it by hook or by crook, like with spit and, and, and bubble gum, right? Trevor Lawrence went out and just put us. He has all that same stuff Deshaun Watson has, plus the accuracy, Paul. And he does it as a freshman. He destroys Alabama as a freshman. What if he wins two more national titles? I mean, that could happen. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you sold me. Except I agree with Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. All right. Uh, I'm coming back to you here, Paul. True or false, Tua will be the number one pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, which is in Las Vegas, I I'll think remind that's false. you. Uh, and he, he's a really nice player. I, I, I worry, as others do, about him against elite defenses. And I think the NFL scouts are going to focus on that. I mean, listen, uh, he, he's going to rip teams like Duke apart. But, but, but he didn't do it against uh, LSU uh, and against Mississippi State last year. Mm -hmm. And ultimately uh, against... Uh, the team that just shredded him, uh, Clemson. So I, I have some, I have my, my doubts. Uh, I don't think I think he'll go high. He's not going first. I'm I'm going to say it's true, mm -hmm. and here's why I'm going to say it's true, because of this injury, the Lamoses, what we just finished talking about. I think Alabama, as a result, is going to be forced to lean more on their offense than 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 in recent memory. Steve Sarkeesian being there now, coming over from the Atlanta Falcons and what have you. You're not it's not Lane Kiffin anymore, even though I thought he did a damn good job as offensive coordinator. I think it's one of those situations where you're gonna see a lot more put on the shoulders of Tua. And as a result of that, I think he's going to make noise running and passing the football because he clearly can throw the football. He has the mo he has the motor skills as well. And I think he's a bright guy. I've had the pleasure of obviously meeting him when I was down there and talking to him extensively while I was there. Really smart kid, level-headed, focused, and feels the effect of that beatdown that they had at Clemson. I think he's going to be even better this year. Well, I want to say something uh, because I, I don't think I've been on this show but I've had people inside that athletic department tell me that Stephen A. Smith's the best speaker they have ever had. And uh, you've seen the video of it, but yeah. uh, he, he blew that place away. And I'm not just saying that because I'm here. I'm, I'm being told that Nick Saban has told people that. So I'm not surprised. Supremely talented. Thank you very the much. The gift is, of gab, I like to say. It is tough My to answer the question after that one. It it's the truth. But I think um, it you. is true he will go number one. Yeah. And the reason it's true is because if there's – People understand quarterbacks are overpaid. They're overpaid. There's X amount of dollars in the NFL because of the hard cap, and everyone winds up overpaying the quarterback. So the window to win, rookie deal. Right. And the quarterbacks are starting as rookies. So they will talk themselves into teams drafting a quarterback number one, whether or not it's the traditional kind of quarterback or whatever. And I know it's Big 12, and I know it's Lincoln Riley, I know it's a little bit different, but that is now becoming more and more of the pro offense anyway, the college kind of offense. And Tua, who... A year ago was like, if had he come out, might have been the number one overall pick. Mm -hmm. As long as he's healthy, 
There will be a team out there that needs a quarterback, likely to have the number one pick in the draft, that says we cannot so, pass so, up so on a quarterback. So you're going to say you're saying true. He will true. go number okay. one. Okay. okay. All right, next one up agree? here. Uh, Max, I'm starting with you. True or false, Jim Harbaugh will miss out on the college football playoff yet again. Let me remind everybody they got a new offensive coordinator out of Alabama. I thought this was going to be beat Ohio State fun. Uh, I, they might do that this year. If, it, if the question is beat Ohio State, I'm going to say he's due. If the question is make the college football playoff, I'm going to say false. Okay. Well, he's going to do both. Well, it's true. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I can't give you any evidence <laughs> in his past that would support that uh, at Michigan. But, but I, I think Jim Harbaugh is a, is a good coach. He's yet to live up to the greatness that he showed in the NFL and at Stanford. So you're saying what? False that he will miss the college football I'm saying it's true. Uh, he, yeah, false. I, I'm, I'm a little confused. I got here, you. I'm sorry. Let me remind myself. Yeah. What's the question again? The show. So the question is, will they miss the college football playoff again? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. And let me say this. Jim Harbaugh, to me, mm -hmm. doesn't have to make the college football playoff. You can have a good season, a damn great season, one loss or whatever, and you're in a conversation, you're the fifth or the sixth seed, you, you didn't make the top four because Georgia and, and, and Oklahoma squeezed in there with Alabama and Clemson or whatever. You can do all that. That's fine. You know what you can't do? <laughs> lose to Ohio. You cannot lose to Ohio. You, you, can't can't do it. you cannot <laughs> lose. Listen, listen. If you lose, listen, we all recognize the fact. Urban Meyer, say what you will. One of the most phenomenal coaches the game of college football has ever seen. The man is just a flat-out winner. Okay, we know this. Even though you, lo even though it was Urban Meyer, people still got on you for losing Urban to Ohio State this year. You can't do it. You must. You, you must, must beat them. Beat them. You must beat them. I, I agree, but but I run into Michigan fans, Stephen A. And, and they, they they're numb to it all. I mean, I, they still think they're. They they get they got a great gift in Jim Harbaugh. Well, I, 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 I mean well, we said this, we think this way, but they don't. You think know that better way. than us the predecessors to Jim Harbaugh's arrival. Sure. He's significantly better. Yeah. So I understand that they're numb to it, but you know this better than anybody. Yeah. I bet you they ain't numb the week leading up. Gotta win this game. But I think that game against Ohio State, Jim Harbaugh's gotta win. Paul, gotta win one. Paul, you're right on the money when you say it's not that Michigan's a bad program or Jim Harbaugh's no, a bad coach. Not at it's all. that the, the fans are delusional, as Stephen A says about Cowboys fans, in that their perception of their status is a, even though it's good, they, is ahead of where it actually the, is. They, they may be the Cowboys. All right. This might college football. <laughs> Speaking yes. of which, that's a great segue. Michigan has beat Ohio State once since 2005. Speaking of the Cowboys, Stephen A., looking at you, your squad. Lincoln Riley will be head coach of the Dallas Cowboys next season. True or false? False. False. He won't be. He's 24-4 and four in his first two years, 12-2 and two each year, got to the uh, uh, – uh, college football playoff, lost both times. But I respect the hell out of Lincoln Riley. He's a damn good coach. But I believe the next coach for the Dallas Cowboys will be Sean Payton. I think Drew Brees potentially wins the Super Bowl. He retires, Sean Payton leaves, and goes and takes over the Cowboys. I think that happens before Lincoln Riley ends up there. Maybe, but I'm going to say Lincoln Riley. Maybe it's out of sentiment more than anything. But I just think Jerry Jones is getting older. When he, when Jimmy Johnson was given the boot, basically, because Jerry Jones' ego couldn't handle the, the, the fact that, that's what, like, okay, Barry Switzer wins one with, with, with Jim Johnson, but, with Jimmy, but not since then. It's been a quarter century, basically. I think Jerry Jones has every single thing he needs but the coach, an okay coach, but not a great one. Lincoln Riley from the area, revolutionizing offenses in the NFL from college. He, he, it makes so much sense for the Cowboys. I think Jerry Jones finally just says, okay, whatever. It's worth it and brings him in. Yeah, I'll make it simple because we're short on time. I, I totally agree. Uh, Garrett's not going to be there next year. and It's ridiculous that he's still there, in my opinion. Yes. And uh, Lincoln Riley fits and checks every single box. I think Jerry Jones has already thought about it. I think he's looking that way, and, and precedent would indicate that's where he's going. Okay. All right. Good stuff, Paul Feinbaum. We'll be seeing a lot of you lately. Not mad about it. Uh, this Saturday, college football starts, and U.S. Open is underway today. Look yeah. who just arrived. There.